color is all around us. It adds emotions and excitement to our lives. From the clothes we wear to the things around us. All revolve around color. colors because they can neither be made by mixing of any other color and nor can they be broken down into other colors. So now you're familiar with the primary colors, right? Red, blue and yellow. Wouldn't you like to know what happens when we mix any two primary? Mixing of any two primaries will give us a category called the secondary colors. For example, if I add the two primaries, red and yellow, I get a secondary color, which is orange. This appears to not have a semblance to the primary hues. If I mix blue and yellow primary hues, then I get a third hue which is green and if I mix blue and red primary colors then I get a third color which is purple. So this third color is the secondary color. Mixing of any two primaries will give us a third color which is called a secondary color. For example, this is primary yellow. I scoop out a certain amount of the color and put it on my palette. I scoop out a certain amount, preferably an equal amount, because it's equal amounts of the primary hues which will give us a secondary hue. And you can see the secondary hue even in the water. Mixing of these two colors will give us our secondary color, which is orange. So this is our third new color, which is referred to as a secondary color, made by the mixing of a primary yellow and a primary red. Similarly, we prepare our next secondary color by adding blue primary and the yellow primary and this is your secondary I'm sure not too tough to guess so what do you think is the color you see isn't it a fresh green so green is our secondary color so now we move on to our third secondary color which we get by mixing a primary blue and primary red. The water already gives you an indicator to the color we are moving to. What color do you think this is? Purple, formed by mixing blue primary and red primary. So let us do it on the palette. And this is your third new color, which is a purple and is a secondary color.
So now we've seen the primaries and the secondaries. But man is never satisfied. We want more colors and more colors. So that's when the tertiary set of colors come in. And how do we see the tertiaries? Mixing of a primary color with a secondary gives us a tertiary. Primary red and secondary orange gives us a red orange. Primary yellow and a secondary orange gives us a yellow orange. Primary yellow, secondary green gives us a yellow green. Secondary green and primary blue gives us a greenish blue. Primary blue, secondary purple gives us a bluish purple. Primary red and secondary purple gives us a reddish purple. So there were the primaries, secondaries and tertiaries. But tell me one thing, there's no black and no white. We don't see them on the color wheel. For that, we have to go back to the science of colors. Now if you look around you and observe the colors you are surrounded with, you will notice that colors do not exist in isolation. They either appear in tints and tones or in color schemes. What is a tint? A tint is created when white is added to any primary hue. For example, this is white. To this, we add primary red. What is the color that we get? It's a new color, which is pink, which we get by adding white to the primary red. So when white is added to any primary hue, then that color is referred to as a tint. The intensity of tints can vary. The more the white, the lighter the intensity of the primary hue. Scoop out a little white. And now, red. Now see what happens to the water. Here we have a beautiful mixture of pink. Here are tints of red. Depending upon the amount of white added to the color, we get different variations of tints. Now let us make tones for the same color red. I first scoop out a little bit of the color. To it, I will add a little black. Depending on the tone required, you will add the color and get the tone of your choice. We now have maroon. So maroon is a tone or a shade of red. So we have tints and we have tones. When two or more colors are used together, they form a color scheme. And these can be categorized into 10 basic categories. The analogous, the achromatic, the monochromatic, the complementary, the split complementary, the triads, 
including the primary triads, secondary triads and tertiary triads, the double split complementaries, the tetrad, the clash and the neutrals. Now let us take a look at the analogous color scheme. The analogous color scheme is a color scheme which involves one color and either all its tints and all its tones or a selected tint, a selected tone of the same color. Now coming to the next color scheme, let us talk about the achromatic color scheme, the scheme without color. Here we're talking of black, white and grays. Now we come to the monochromatic color scheme. Monochrome, meaning single color, is a color scheme that uses the tints and the tones of the same color. The complementary color scheme is a color scheme where two colors that are placed exactly opposite to each other on the color wheel have been used. This is a complementary color scheme. This is also a complementary color scheme. A split complementary color scheme is a color scheme where a hue and the colors on either side of its complementary are used. A double split complementary scheme is a color scheme which involves the colors on either side of any complementary color scheme. For example, these four colors which lie on either side of these complements. These four colors which lie on either side of these complements. These four and these four. Now let us talk about the triad color scheme. The triad color scheme is a color scheme that could be formed either by three primaries, three secondaries or three tertiaries. Tetrad is a color scheme where we use colors that are complementary to each other and are placed at an equidistance on the color wheel. For example, these four colors, these four, these four and so on. A clash color scheme is a scheme where we use a color and the second color that is used is on the left side or the right side of its complementary. A neutral color scheme is a color scheme where a color is neutralized by addition of its complement or black. So that was all about color schemes. Now let us talk about the application of color and its schemes in the fashion industry and in home industry. Now let us take a look at the analogous color scheme. Let us talk about the achromatic color scheme. Now here we have black and white. This gray scale begins with white and it ends with black as pure colors. The amount of white or black added depending upon the proportions is placed between them. Giving us a variety of grays. 
from the lightest to the darkest. Now we come to the monochromatic color scheme. The complementary color scheme A split complementary color scheme A double split complementary scheme The triad color scheme Tetra color scheme Clash color scheme Neutral color scheme 